Guys, the wreck of that twin engine plane is still just in the backyard of this Londonderry home. And despite that very hard landing, first responders say the pilot was one of the first people to pick up the phone and call 911. At first, we thought it was like a lightning sound. It was no storm rolling through Colonial Drive in Londonderry this morning, but it sure sounded like it. A neighbor's security camera capturing the moment a twin engine plane crashed down into the woods behind their homes. They were trying to rescue the, the, the pilot out and uh, he seemed like he was hurt. First responders say the plane had just taken off from Manchester Boston Regional Airport bound for Presque Isle, Maine, but only minutes later, crews got word the aircraft was going down. We advise, uh, we believe at this time the aircraft might have um, gone down. The plane, a Beechcraft 99, was operated by Wiggins Airways. The company runs a package delivery service in the Northeast. First responders say the plane crashed down less than 100 feet from a single family house, and the pilot was awake and responsive when they got to the scene. He ought to play the, uh, yeah, the lottery for sure. This was, this was a very significant emergency response that we responded to, and a lot of things could have gone wrong. The pilot was taken to a Boston hospital and is in critical condition. Londonderry's fire chief says this is far from an ordinary day for his crews, but they do train for this kind of emergency. It was a challenging environment because, as you can imagine, the fuselage is very compromised and damaged, so getting access to the pilot himself through the crews and through the rescue tools was very, very difficult. Now, first responders also tell us there were about 250 gallons of fuel on board that flight. So there's been a hazmat team here for most of the day. And again, the most recent update we do have from the fire department is that pilot was taken to a Boston hospital last listed in critical condition. Live in Londonderry, Ross Ketchke, WMUR News 9. And the company involved in today's crash, Wiggins Airways, had another plane crash recently. That happened last August in Maine and two people were killed. WMR's Ariel Metropolis is live with more on that. Monica, officials say this company is flying in and out of Manchester Regional virtually every single day. The company is Wiggins Airways. They transport packages and things like fuel. Tom Kinton is the former director of aviation at Massport. He says these types of crashes are incredibly rare and that flying is still one of the safest ways to travel. But the FAA and the NTSB will have to conduct their investigation to make sure there aren't any concerning patterns over time. He also commended the the pilot for having the wherewithal to avoid hitting a house. I would say good job for the pilot uh, controlling that airplane because he was obviously struggling with something where he couldn't communicate for a while. So again, I'm speculating that he had an issue, obviously, uh, of uh, an in-flight emergency where he was trying to f get control of the aircraft. And again, even though we've learned that pilot is in critical condition, Tom says he's hopeful that he will be able to recover and help with the investigation. In the newsroom, Ariel Metropolis, WMUR, News 9.